What is your assessment now that is all said and done here in the States of the state of U.S. soccer? Oh, I think the state of U.S. soccer is very good. I mean, you'd have to give it a, a top mark. I mean, the team did well. They held, they held their heads high. They got to the next round of, uh, you know, the World Cup, which myself included, what a lot of people didn't expect them to do. And uh, it's a program that looks like it's in good shape. Did, did you think they did better than you expected them to, and did they play better than you expected them to? Well, they played better until yesterday. Mm. I mean, I, I wasn't particularly impressed with the way they played yesterday, and people are saying you're very hard on the defense and you're very hard on the back four. Well, you know, maybe I am, but Tim Howard had to come up with an awful lot of saves. It looked like he was hung out to dry many times. There was nobody out there to help him. So uh, I wasn't particularly impressed with the way they played, but they finished off on a high note. I mean, people are saying, well, why did they finish, why did they finish so well? Because Belgium got two goals in the bank, I feel, and probably thought, hey, we're out of here now, on to the next round. And all of a sudden, the United States come charging with them, and when Julian Green got the goal, it put them back into it. But you know what saying in football that a 2-0 lead is the worst lead that you can have. Uh, I never understood it, but yes, it looked that way because Belgium were almost caught. Do you think uh, uh, the U.S. should have attacked earlier? Do you question Klinsman's strategy at all, Tommy? Well, I think it wasn't the case. I think he intended to attack. I just don't think that he had the, he had the, the weapons to attack. Um, that last burst of attacking came from the United States. It just came from, you know, like a wounded, uh, like a wounded animal. There's just a little bit left. They had a little bit left in them, and they caught Belgium napping a little bit. I think his his intentions were all the time that they were going to be, you know, uh, as cautious as they could, but if they could get a chance to get down the field. And, and when he made the first substitute, I mean, it, it seemed to be working out okay. I mean, if you get a game into extra time, you don't expect to get blown out in those last 15 or 30 minutes. That, that's the problem. You know, if, you, if you're if you playing the game to get to 90 minutes and you're playing the game to get the next 15 and the next 15 and you want to get at the penalty kicks, we'd say, you don't expect to get blown out with those two goals. And, like, one of the problems that the United States had was that this Lukaku is a very good player. He had not been playing very well. In fact, he didn't play at all the last day. And he put him in at a time when the U.S. were most susceptible. I mean, they were dead on their feet. Mm. And he just looked like he was, he looked like he was a, a world-class sprinter all of a sudden. He came in. For more, visit weei.com slash video.